continues to heat up on Capitol here, Hill here to discuss that. North Carolina Republican Senator Tom Tillis. Senator, I, I'm sure you've been listening to that debate there. Do you care to jump in, weigh in on your thoughts on whether all these sky high prices are here to stay or just temporary, as the White House says? Well, I'm afraid a lot of them are, are here to stay. We have to keep in mind the spending spree started back in January when they passed a $1.9 trillion package without any Republican votes. The reason that I'm a part of the so-called G20 trying to negotiate an infrastructure bill, it's uh, get this, really infrastructure, roads, bridges, uh, the internet, uh, high-speed broadband. These are things that I believe that we can justify, not a three trillion or four and a half trillion dollar price tag, which I believe is going to soon, we're gonna forget the word transitory and we're gonna be dealing with inflation for some time to come. Senator, where is your support for further spending? How would you like to see that money spent, knowing it's a big risk in this hot economy uh, to put more dollars on the table? What, what are you supporting right now? Well, what, we've, what we are negotiating now and making great progress over the weekend is a 700, or I'm sorry, a $579 billion package, uh, which is a, a fraction of the four and a half trillion that Bernie Sanders and Pelosi would like to spend on roads, bridges, expanding our infrastructure. There's no question in, our, in my mind that COVID has really forced a more of a digitization of this economy, how people get educated, how people get their information. We need to help unserved and underserved areas for broadband. That's about $65 billion. The, uh, the majority of the, the resources that I'm most focused on are roads and bridges, which we desperately need to expand, to address congestion, to address safety. It will create good paying jobs and it will have an economic return. The infrastructure bill that they're referring to, they're being dishonest with the American people. There's very little in the way of infrastructure in the three plus trillion dollar package that they're proposing. It would create entitlements. It would create, I think, a, an upward pressure on inflation. And people like me growing up, living paycheck to paycheck when I was 17, 18 years old, are the ones who are gonna suffer the most. Interesting perspective there. As you just heard uh, one of our guests, Laura uh, Fink there say, she was talking about spending. will eventually counteract inflation. You've heard that from the White House and your Democratic colleagues as well. So is that the case? Oh, absolutely not. I spoke, uh, I serve on the banking committee. I've spoken with a lot of people in financial services sector, some of the largest banks in the country, and they are bullish on the economic prospects absent this $3 trillion, $4 trillion package. All of them have said, and, and financial experts far more experienced than me say, that if we flood the zone with this additional 3 to $4 trillion in spending, it's not going to end well. It is going to affect the, the long-term cost of products. It is going to affect inflation. It could ultimately have an upward, if the Fed does ultimately react, it could have an upward impact on interest rates. And we could be in a situation where we could be spending as much as a trillion dollars a year serving our national debt right now and uh, servicing our national debt. That That is a financial disaster waiting to happen, which is why we hope that by on a bipartisan basis, getting this infrastructure package in, we can set it aside. And then the president and Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi can sell this additional spending spree and the reckless taxes that will come with it. That's something else we haven't spoken about. We've got to remember it's corporate taxes, capital gains, uh, family farmers are going to get hit hard. Uh, no one is going to be protected from the tax increase, which is another just way of, of undermining what was a great story to be told about rising ways, wages before COVID hit our shores. Senator, I've it's, only got it five will seconds be a disaster. or so, but in a word or so, are you optimistic there will be compromise? Um, I think on the infrastructure bill, I'm optimistic right now. We're working in good faith, and I hope we can get it done. Senator Tom Tillis.